today's video, I have ditched my tripod, ditched my flash, and I am handheld shooting macro photos just like these. tripod and flash quite a lot in my macro photography and sometimes it is great going out with a kit bag full of absolutely everything that you need so you can take any single shot you come across but it's also really liberating coming out with just a camera with nothing else weighing you down camera macro lens and that's it that's exactly what i'm doing today it's another one of those days when i'm out for a walk in my local area. No idea what I'm gonna find. No idea what I'm looking for. Nice fly, for example. Let's take a photo here. Oh, no, it's gone. It's coming back. Let's carry on. And a lot of shots will require a good tripod flash, maybe multiple flashes, diffusers, bounce cards, macro rails. And if you take all of that stuff out with you every time you go, you're talking about many kilograms on your back. I often feel that if I am physically weighed down, I feel quite creatively weighed down as well. But because I'm not weighed down with loads of stuff, it means that anytime I see something, if I'm quick enough, I can hopefully get some kind of shot. Starting off with these bluebells, which are looking great this time of year. I want a wide aperture for a really shallow depth of field look, but I also want to make sure that the bluebells themselves are all in focus. So here I did a handheld focus stack using burst mode on my camera and slowly twisting the focus barrel while I fired off the frames. Then I just pieced the shots together in Photoshop. I really like how this finished shot looks as it combines that shallow depth of field look with the focus on the flowers. But it doesn't require lugging around a tripod with you and having to lock your camera down. Take this shot as another example. I took 15 images in very quick succession. Again, turning that focus barrel to move the focus point over the fly and the result is this. A lovely shallow depth of field effect, but keeping that insect and the flower in perfect focus. And I did the exact same thing with this lovely pink flower that really stood out to me against the greens around it. Shooting wide open at f2.8, I get a very shallow depth of field like this, which really doesn't work. But taking lots of shots where I quickly move that focus point across the subject, I eventually get this stacked image, all without using a tripod or a flash. But not every shot needs to be stacked. This one I think works perfectly well as just a straight snap, with those nice leaves blurring into the background behind the flower. Of course, securing your camera on a tripod means you can shoot at much slower shutter speeds without risk of blur, and using a flash brings in a lot of light. So obviously without those two bits of kit, I do have to adjust my settings a lot, just in order to bring back enough light to get a visible image. So that means two things really. First of all, I'm shooting much wider than I normally would, usually about f2.8. So that means I get very shallow depth of field. But I've also increased my ISO to about 500 in a lot of shots, which is higher than I normally want. But you know, it's a full frame camera, the 5D4, so I think it can take it. But because I'm hand holding the camera, ooh, I'm dark. But because I'm hand holding the camera, I don't want to be using slower shutter speeds, anything under really about 200th of a second, otherwise I will start to get that blur, particularly when you zoom in on those fine details. It does mean it can be quite tricky to shoot, particularly as you can see, when I'm in areas under trees like this, it does get very dark and it's just very, very tricky to shoot handheld in areas like this. So instead I'm trying to look more towards areas where the sun is getting in. It's a little brighter 
But the other thing I've been trying a lot is doing some focus stacks handheld by setting my camera to burst mode and just turning that focus dial as I'm firing away. Now, I've not done this very often and it can be a little tricky to get right, particularly again, if you're shooting at slower shutter speeds because that movement can create some blur in your image. But hopefully I can get it to work and get some decent shots with it. I've been sitting here for ages now watching this little blue fly. No idea what type of fly it is, but it keeps jumping around. I haven't seen anything move quite like it before, so I'm not quite sure what species it is. But it's very fast, very erratic, so it's very difficult to try and get a focus stack. So I'm trying my best by setting my camera to burst mode, keeping it on a fixed um, uh, focus point, and then just sort of moving it in and out while I fire off lots of photos. So as a result, I've probably taken hundreds of photos here in this little spot just trying to get it in different angles and basically the more photos i take the more likely it is that one of them is actually going to work the fly seemed interested enough in these flowers to stay still for long enough for me to take this stack and i really like how sharp the fly is here and how that helps it stand out from the background but it definitely moved around too quickly for me to get many stacked shots although i did quite like how this one turned out but that fast movement issue is something I found with this ladybird as well. I loved watching it walk over this leaf, but it was moving too quickly for me to shoot in a fast burst and get a proper stack. This is the nearest I got, and it's okay, but there are parts of it that the focus missed, and that's a bit of a shame. I'm sure that maybe those of you working with mirrorless cameras with really fast burst modes could get that shot, but my old 5D4 could not quite hack it. But I did try the technique on some other insects that were happy to spend a bit more time posing for me, and while the shots I got are certainly not world class, I am happy with them as nice shots from my walk in the trees. And as always, part of the joy of taking macro shots in the wild like this is simply getting out there and enjoying what the world has to offer. That brings me to an end of today's video. Hopefully you have found it helpful, useful, enjoyable. Any other words that end in all? If you have, do please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you don't already. And I will see you next time. Just trod in poo.